Thank you to our distinguished Austrian hosts for those welcoming words. My name is Kevin Gluck. I am Chief Scientist at Resilient Cognitive Solutions and Chair of the Cognitive Science Society. I'm very happy to say that we have a large slate of awards, honors, and prizes to go over in this opening session, so we're going to cut straight to the slides. Before starting in on the awards, I really must pause for a moment to ask everyone out there in the Cognitive Science Society community to thank our brilliant and dedicated conference co-chairs and their amazing on-site team members for putting together such an extraordinary program for COGSI 2021. Let's give them a virtual and actual round of applause. Thank you. Many thanks also to our sponsors. We appreciate the generous contributions from the Robert J. Glushko and Pamela Samuelson Foundation, the European Office of Aerospace Research and Development, Duolingo, Toyota Research Institute, MIT IBM Watson AI Lab, and Finding Five in support of cognitive science. And we encourage all participants in this year's conference to visit the virtual exhibit booths hosted by MIT Press and Oxford University Press. A reminder that we have established a code of conduct for participation in our annual conference. The Cognitive Science Society is dedicated to diversity, equity, inclusion, and the free expression of ideas, and all forms of harassment are prohibited at the conference. For more information, please see the full code of conduct on our website. As you can see, there is quite a set of awards honors and prizes to mention tonight. I'll be moving fast, so I encourage you to read more about these awards and the recipients of these awards on our website and to seek out their papers and presentations in the conference content. Let's start with the conference awards. Our sincere thanks to Tim Rogers and the entire conference awards committee for all the hard work they put in to selecting the deserving set of recipients of these first three awards. The Mar Prize is awarded to the best student paper at the conference. This year's winner is James Fallandays of the University of California Merced. Congratulations, James. We award four prizes every year for the best computational modeling papers in applied cognition, higher level cognition, language, and perception and action. This year's winners are Ishan Hassan, Emily Heffernan, Claire Berge and Samuel Shayette. Congratulations to all four of you. In honor of Cheyenne Gould, this award goes to the best undergraduate paper at the conference, and this year's winner is Zhang Yi Chen of Rice University. Congratulations. Now we thank Asifa Majid and the entire Diversity and Inclusion Subcommittee for Awards for the hard work that they took on selecting the deserving recipients of these upcoming Diversity and Inclusion Awards. Last year, we made a commitment to double the number of Diversity and Inclusion Conference Awards so that we could award 10 prizes to promote participation in the conference for graduate students who bring diversity to the society and in particular students who are from underrepresented racial and ethnic groups and who are citizens of underrepresented and economically disadvantaged countries. I'm thrilled to share with you the full list of 2021 winners of our Diversity and Inclusion Conference Awards and welcome all of these graduate students to this year's conference. Last year, we also created an award that recognizes the best work at our annual conference that tackles issues of diversity and social inequality. Eligible studies include those on racism, sexism, and other forms of inequality, or more generally, studies that tackle the issue of psychological and behavioral diversity in cognitive science. This year's winners are Martin Ho Kwan Ip and Anna Papa Fergu. Congratulations. The Disciplinary Diversity and Integration Awards are new this year. This is the inaugural awarding of these awards, and so I'll take a moment to explain. These awards recognize the best cognitive science research in disciplines that have been traditionally underrepresented 
at the annual conferences and in the journals. And eligible submissions include novel interdisciplinary perspectives and integrative approaches to understanding the human mind. These awards are funded by the newly established Executive Editors Outreach Fund, which is funded by our new journal executive editors, Andrea Bender and Rick Dale. Thank you, both of you, for your generosity in funding these new awards. We have four winners of the Disciplinary Diversity and Integration Awards this year, two paper winners and two symposia winners, and we congratulate the set of you on being the inaugural recipients of these awards. It's a privilege to get the opportunity now to recognize the recipients of some important Cognitive Science Society honors. First, our new cohort of Society Fellows. The Fellows of the Cognitive Science Society are individuals whose research has exhibited sustained excellence and had sustained impact on the cognitive science community. We congratulate Pascal Boyer, Daniel Dennett, Cody Gonzalez, Joseph Henrich, Ken McRae, Gabriella Vigliocco, and Michael Waldman for this prestigious recognition of their research. These next awards are unusual in that honorary lifetime memberships are not granted on an annual basis. In fact, they're only granted when the level of sustained contribution to the general advancement of cognitive science, and in particular to the Cognitive Science Society, warrants a recognition of this magnitude. I am so pleased on behalf of the entire governing board and the Cognitive Science Society to recognize the extraordinary contributions of Rick Cooper and Wayne Gray by awarding them honorary lifetime memberships in the society. Rick and Wayne recently completed long tenures as the executive editors of our journals, and they have extensive additional histories of service to the society despite the fact that they're best known to most of us for their impressive research contributions. Please join me in thanking and congratulating Rick Cooper and Wayne Gray for everything that they have done for cognitive science and the Cognitive Science Society. And now for some particularly prestigious prize recognitions. First, the Rummel Hart Prize which is awarded to an individual or team who's made a significant contribution to the theoretical foundations of human cognition. This year's Rommel Hart Prize Lecture will be delivered by recipient Susan Golden Meadow of the University of Chicago. Her presentation, titled The Mind Hidden in Our Hands, will be today, Tuesday, July 27th at 1900 Vienna time. That lecture is immediately followed by a brief Rommel Hart Prize reception and the announcement of the 22nd winner of the Rommel Hart Prize. Following the announcement, we'll move to the Rommel Hart Prize Symposium in honor of Susan Golden Meadow, that symposium chaired by Martha Alibali. So join us for a full slate of Rommel Hart Prize recognitions and celebrations, and the announcement of the 22nd prize winner today in the first full day of COGSI 2021. The Elman Prize is awarded to a mid-career cognitive scientist, an individual or team, whose careers exemplify the twin strands of scientific excellence and commitment to community building and service that were so evident in Jeff Elman's career. This year's Elman Prize winner is Weiji Ma, and the Elman Prize Symposium, chaired by Ronald Vandenberg of Stockholm University, will take place on Wednesday, July 28th at 1520 Vienna time. Later in the day on Wednesday, July 28th, we'll enjoy the Heineken Prize plenary. The Carvalho Heineken Prize for Cognitive Sciences highlights the importance of investigating the cognitive functions of humans and animals, which is 
particularly appropriate given the theme of this year's conference. Robert Zatore is the most recent recipient of the Heineken Prize, and he'll speak on Why Do We Love Music? A View from Cognitive Neuroscience. As a fun and fascinating way to finish off this year's conference, in the final session on Thursday, July 29th, starting 1900 Vienna time, you'll get the opportunity to attend the Glushko Dissertation Prizes Symposium. Nick Chater, who's chair of the Glushko Prize Committee, is going to tell you some more about that symposium and the amazing dissertations selected for Glushko Prizes this year. Before he does that, let me just say that I hope you find this year's conference as intellectually stimulating and fun as I know that I will. Thank you for being here. Enjoy the conference. Take it away, Nick. Hello, my name is Nick Chater. I'm the chair of the Glushko Dissertation Prize Committee. And I'd just like to say a few words about our winners this year. Uh, first of all, who they are. We have Esti Blanco Elioretta, Laura Williams, Andrew Lampanin, Shari Liu, Venceslav Popov, and James Whittington. All very worthy winners with remarkable uh, research. Uh, there were many more very impressive submissions which we were unable to award. Um, but also which really gave us a very strong and positive sense of the, the vibrancy uh, of the field. I'd also like to briefly thank our committee, uh, who've spent a great deal of time uh, poring over the theses and, and debating hard about which should make the cut. Um, a very difficult decision as ever. Uh, they are David Danks, Charles Kemp, Barbara Knowlton, Jeff Lids, and Jenny Saffron. And of course, I'd like to thank Bob Glushko, both for supporting uh, this prize, uh, but also supporting our discipline in so many ways. Um, I very much look forward to the presentations. The opportunity to hear some of the cutting edge work being done by new researchers in the field is always one of the highlights for me of the Cognitive Science Conference. It also it gives us not just a sense of the exciting work going on in the present, but it also gives a, a sense of the future of our discipline. And judging by these winners, and indeed many in the past few years, the future of the discipline is in very good hands. Thank you. <laughs>